It's me, it's CGB, and today in this video I'm going to show you how I started my stream over from scratch while at a vacation house in Florida. So, I have taken a vacation, I brought none of my streaming gear with me, and I went out and bought some gear at just some of the local places, and I set everything up here at the room to just start over from scratch and break it down to the bare essentials of what you need to do a streaming and be a streamer. So, do a streaming. <laughs> Sounds fun. Let's uh, get into it. What exact items did I bring with me and what exactly did I buy? Well, I brought nothing like I alluded to. Like I said earlier, I brought none of my usual streaming stuff at all. I just came on this trip, got to the Airbnb. Uh, I'm in Florida near Fort Myers. I live in Traverse City, Michigan. It was a multi-day drive. We brought our dogs. We're having a great time. I'm going to go to the beach after this. It's great. It's better than being in the cold of northern Michigan for sure. But I miss streaming. I think that streaming is best when you try to keep the hobby vibe of it. And I thought a fun way to do that would be to rebuild my stream while on the road so I could also make content for channels and videos like this. So let's get into it. What did I buy to just reboot and uh, start a stream over completely from scratch? Well, for one thing, I didn't buy a second monitor. So you're going to see a little lack of polish as I get everything into right places. But the first thing that you need is a microphone. So from Best Buy, I got the Samsung Satellite iOS USB broadcast microphone. I've got the box sitting over here. Uh, this little guy's been all right. I don't have any experience with the Samsung products or the satellite microphones. Um, and so far so good, connected fine, setup was easy, sound is okay, it doesn't have the low end of my microphone back home, so I'll definitely be switching back to my XLR and my XLR uh, setup when I get home, but no problem from the mic, it's really convenient, it just sits here on the desk, uh, it's pretty small, it's compact, no complaints. The next thing that I picked up is uh, the most essential. No, not really. The Tokad Sunpack self-storing ring light vlogging kit. Get ready for your makeup tutorial. The ring light is sitting right behind the computer right now, and I don't even need it because the natural light in this room in Florida right now is so good. Um, there's a reason it's called the Sunshine State. But in the evening, I need it. And when I set up in the other room, I switched rooms because there was too much echo in the other room. But in the other room, I definitely needed it. So here, uh, all natural lighting, maybe I don't even need this particular product, but it's cheap and it's a ring light that I can set on a table behind the computer to light me up if I need to. And uh, doesn't, doesn't the box just scream CGB? Isn't it just on brand? And then the next item that you need is a webcam. So I got the Logitech 4K Pro. Um, this is uh, really ex more expensive than you need. I intended to get a C920. If you look for a Logitech C920, any model will probably be fine. I ended up with this little baby because they were out of the C920, so it got scammed a little on that one. But I think any model of this will be good. I do look forward to comparing this to my Sony DSLR back home. It's like a 5000 something series. And uh, comparing this to that, I'm sure that this will be the inferior camera, but so far people have said that the picture quality is very, very good and they like it a lot. So uh, I'll look forward to doing the full comparison when I get back. The next thing I got, and this is where we diverge, some of us won't see eye to eye on this. It's okay, let me be me. I've been waiting a long time to get back to an iMac and be a Mac person again. I became a PC person mainly because of Magic Duels and Magic Arena and streaming those games. And uh, there was no option. But now Arena is on Mac, so I've been curious to try it and see if I could use a Mac for streaming, how it would compare. So I got the 24-inch iMac uh, with the Apple M1 chip, uh, the blue one, because I'm covert to go blue. And there is a really good reason. Um, it's all in one. I didn't have to pick out PC plus monitor or some combo. And I can pack it right back into this box nice and safe when it's time to take it home. Some of you know the saga of Marvin the Monitor, the monitor that died when I had to record from the in-laws basement dojo during the streak to keep it alive. Um, yeah, you don't want to break your stuff. That's a big reason also not to take any of my best streaming stuff back home with me on this trip and to buy it there. Um, so when it comes time to go home, I just pack this thing back up in the box and I take the box home and we see how it fits into my life back home. And then the next part I had to get was kind of Mac tax, which is I had to get a USB port because apparently 
Apple became too good for USB 3 and now we have USB-C and we have to use that. So I had to get this little docking station type thing, this little port hub. There's probably a cheaper one out there. Again, this is what they had in the store. So I probably paid some, I probably got scammed and paid some Mac tax, but I had to be able to con con connect my USB accessories to my USB-C Mac. So thank, thank you, Apple, for that. Some of you are laughing. The next thing I did as soon as I came home and powered this up is I installed OBS Studio. So I don't have any of my like streaming scenes or things like that saved in the cloud. I really did just do it from scratch. So OBS Studio is a good place to start. Totally free, works on all these things. I've never used it for Mac. So as soon as I got OBS running, the next thing I had to do was make my microphone sound better. And now you enter Streamception, enjoy. But uh, if you click here and go to filters, you get all these filters. And it was awesome that it basically came with these built in. You hit plus and there's a bunch of these already ready to go. So I could make my mic sound good. There are videos out there specifically about OBS audio filters. Uh, and that's how I learned about them. And this is where I go for compressor noise gate built in software for that kind of thing to make myself sound a little better. So that was the next thing I did. The, the, the next next thing I did is there's no option on a Mac to just add your desktop audio. So you see this scene source that says music not sucky, it's not there. If you just hit plus and try to add an audio capture, there's no default, there's just no devices at all. So you need a software to actually create this. And the software I found that is free is Existential Audio's Black Hole to route audio between uh, apps. So search for Existential Black Hole and you'll find it. This is again, more Mac text that you probably don't need if you run a PC. Uh, so um, then after you get there, go to their FAQ or basically their how to, their wiki uh, and look for ways to create a multi audio source so that you can then add that in OBS. The last thing I needed before I could stream was I needed to be able to have some overlays and alerts. So if you want that, the best way to do it is stream elements, another free resource. I logged in with Twitch. This is cloud-based, so a lot of this was already saved for me, but all I'm really using are the alerts. And if you go into a stream elements dashboard and you go under overlays, there's an overlays gallery, you should check if the game you're playing already has provided some sweet overlays. For me, I play Magic Arena. If we search for Magic Arena, we get MTG Arena Super Theme, which has all these starting soons and they're animated and all this stuff is free. You can just go ahead and download and build this out however you want to. You should probably uh, watch some videos on stream elements setups because this part is a little bit a little bit wonky. This was the, one of the hardest parts for me to figure out, but now that I've done it enough times, it's easy enough to get these sweet little animated alerts when people sub and things like that. And I, I just add this, uh, create my overlay. I add it to my overlay. I'm not gonna get too much into the how-to from there, but I basically just have a way that I snipe the alerts by getting the links. Very simple, uh, once you get used to it. So uh, those are the things that you need. You gotta get a microphone, you gotta get a light, although maybe not if you're going to film in this kind of light in this kind of day. I mean, this is a really well lit room, not using the light right now. You gotta have a camera. I still think a C920 is fine. And you gotta have a computer. You probably have your eye on some type of computer. I went with a Mac, you can go with a PC, do what you gotta do. I gave you a few more tips if you're actually trying to stream on a Mac. Uh, for this particular video that might be helpful to somebody and uh, then you just uh, yeah get your obs get your mic filters if you want to sound a little different if you're not comfortable with your raw sound like i often i need some filters to feel good about my voice and uh, get uh, stream elements get some overlays the things i wish i had brought with me the things i'm missing the most right now um second monitor uh, being able to monitor your stream is really hard if you're doing desktop capture or uh, just any full screen game. So I've got my iPad down here and my iPad is acting as my second monitor. There are some issues with that, um, but uh, like a little bit of a delay between the stream catching up to what happens, but it's, it's fine. It's going to be fine. And then the other thing I really miss is my stream deck. I had one button that I could hit 
that would show me that I was recording and then it would pulse red while I was recording. And I already lost this video once to not being recording when I thought I was recording. And I've lost probably years of my life as a creator on YouTube to not recording when I thought I was recording. And my stream deck kind of fixed that because I could always look down and see that little light pulsing and I warm, fuzzy feeling, confidence. Don't have that flying without that net dealing with that but a stream deck is the next thing that i really like and you just add your record button to it so you hit record and you know when you are live so that's going to be this video i hope that it helps some of you trying to get into streaming or just curious about my life and why things look weird when you watch my streams or some of the videos i make while i'm here looking forward to making some content for you as always your creator it's me it's cgb thank you for watching this video as always i will see you in the next video you are cool.